Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I want to show you how to set up GIMP version 2.10 for doing pixel art. First we start with adding a new file. Now here we can choose the size of the new image. It's the best to start small that you don't have so many details to take. So let's just start with 16 to 16 pixels. This zoom here or pressing control and using the mouse wheel. Then we need a grid to paint. For this we go to View and Show Grid. You can see that the grid doesn't fit for our case, so we need a more detailed grid. Therefore we go to Image and configure our grid. The most important option we have here is the spacing, the horizontal and vertical spacing. And we just type in 1 for both. And you can see now we have grid with 16 to 16 pixels. For our brush we use the size 1, aspect ratio 0, angle 0 and hardness and force 100. For changing the colors very easily, we add a new tab here on the right and say we want the pelts. Let's see for example the blue one. Say we want to edit it and now here you can see all the colors we have. With the click on here, you can now paint in this color. If you don't want to switch from one palette to the other, I suggest to not edit one of the predefined palettes, just make your own palette. You can do this by clicking right click and say new palette. Now here you have your editor for your palette. You can just give it a name. And now you have here the best palette. Then you want to add some entries. Here you can click create new entry from the foreground color. This here is the foreground color and this here is the background color. So we added the foreground color, the blue one. Now let's see, um, let's say I want a bit darker blue, for example for shadows. I click OK and I say I want to create a new entry from the foreground color once again. So you can see I have a lighter blue and a darker blue. When creating pixel art, it normally doesn't look good if you are on your working perspective. So you normally have a very, very close zoom. For example, here I have 3200% um, in focus. This here is oftentimes too small to have a good overview. So for getting a new view, we have to first of all go to Windows and deselect the single window mode. Now the windows that were integrated get separated. So now we have a toolbox, here the editor part and here the part where we can work to get a new view, we click here, view, and new view. Now we get another view here. You will see in a moment how we can work with this. Let's just take it here and go a little bit in the focus. Okay. Now let me just make a small pixel art and then you can see how this can help you while creating. Now let's have a look. In my opinion, if you are on the working part here, it's always difficult to have a good view if the pixel art is good for your use case. You normally want to have it in the size you use it later on. Of course, I can 
go now here and make um, some zooming in and out to get this view. But normally I would need to delete then my grid view. And I think it's much easier to just have it here. So you always can see your edits or your creation in the size you wanted. That's all for today. If you have any questions or any comments, just leave them below with a comment. If you liked the video, I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and see you at the next video. Bye!